and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL, and I'm back with yet another tube bracelet. But this time, we went with the, what I think is the more traditional um, arrowhead. And as a result, um, it makes, like, the segments, you get the, like, here's, it's, here the orange is full on, and then it does it again. So it, it went through that whole thing twice, as opposed to oh, grab the other one, the elongated one, which, um, like say, here it started with the blue, and then there's barely a little bit of blue down at the bottom. So it like takes almost the whole bracelet to go through it. So yeah, very, very, very different. Um, so one of the hypotheses I had was that because these ha this has a 5-3 uh, versus a 4-3, that that extra knot on each row would maybe make it go a little bit faster. And it turns out that was right. It's, uh, it shaved 10 minutes off of the whole thing. So I know that 10 minutes isn't much. Um, but that's something, right? I mean, it actually shows that long straight rows go faster than the other ones. It's just, it's just a thing. And, um, yeah, I was able to predict that. So I'm kind of proud of myself. Um, overall, I would have to say that the bracelet wasn't really difficult at all. There was nothing about it that, um, kind of gave me any surprises or anything. Um, it went together as one might expect, especially, I mean, I've been doing a lot of tubes lately. It's, uh, kind of, I guess I'm getting okay with it. Good with it. I, I don't know. Um, you still have to move it around in the clips a lot. That's, that's the whole thing with the tubes. There's, you'll see turning it and moving it, um, happens a bunch. Um, but the getting five to go in the row. Yeah, that wasn't a problem at all. Um, I wouldn't say that there was any other parts of this that was any more advantageous. Um, just wasn't. Um, I didn't have to look at any patterns. I guess I really didn't use the pattern on the last one either. The, once I kind of got down with the whole four and three, I did. I okay. So I did have to look at the pattern a bunch when we got down to the end because I wanted to end it exactly how the pattern had done. And so I had to kind of watch out like as I was getting closer to make sure that that happened. But that just, that's just right at the very end. And um, yeah. So yeah, had some fun, watch some, uh, watch some, uh, was that YouTube? I guess I was just watching YouTube at the time. And, uh, oh, one of the things I did try with this was, um, cause I kind of felt like it was going to use both sides of the strings really well. Normally when two colors come across, I let it just kind of go straight. This time I kept it going. So like see, when this orange comes to the other orange, it, it does the zigzag like all the rest of them do. So, cause I felt like that might help to use the strings more evenly. That seemed to work. I was afraid that if you keep switching it, that maybe you would end up using one of them a lot more than the other one. So I figured since the two, would, like, because on on the, the elongated one, you really are gonna use like one group way more than the other. So when they, they can change, that might be a good thing, right? But this one, um, because you're gonna use both of them a lot. Um, I thought that that might be different. So I, I could have tried it the other way and see if I could have ran out. Um, but I didn't, I went with what I thought would make sense and it worked. So I'm sharing with you. I, this way works. So I don't know. And I mean, I made really nice long tassels on this in case somebody wants to 
make it like an anklet or something they could. But yeah, these are like some really chunky bracelets. Really, really chunky. And again, it's one of those cases where if you squish it down, do you want to squish it to where you see just the zigzags or do you want to see the arrowhead part? It's, you know. And again, it, to me, this is kind of funny because there were discussions way back when about, you know, arrowheads being so distinctly different um, than the, just a zigzag. And to me, it's like, no, it's all the same. If you make it into a tube, you will see an arrowhead and a zigzag are just two parts of the same thing. It's, it is what it is. You know, if you play with double wides, you know, you would, you would find that as well. If you try to double wide a zigzag, it doesn't necessarily just mean you end up with a fatter zigzag. You get arrowhead. So, yeah. Um, again, this is one of those ones, color-wise, we could have had some fun with some fading. We could have had some fun with a lot of different, you know, you don't, it doesn't even have to be just a rainbow or a fade. You don't have to limit. If you're, if you have like six colors that you like, and that could be as random as you want, um, you could totally do this and have your own thing going on and it would still be lovely. Yeah. As long as, as long as the colors go together. Yeah. I mean. I'm trying to imagine like what would be the worst scenario, like what would be the worst colors to possibly mix. But I imagine no matter how hard you tried to do that, somebody, someone, somewhere will absolutely love it. It's, it's always the case. Always. I've, I tried back in the day to just really just go crazy with whatever str string I might have left. I might be like, had been running out. And so I only had certain things and I would make something like, wow, that's a real stinker. And somebody would be like, oh my God, I've never seen anybody put these colors together before. This is amazing. Always, 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 always. And, and you will find if you have like a whole group of bracelets with you, right? and you have one stinker in there with the whole collection of all of your beauties, people will come along and be like, wow, this stinker is $5 and this beauty here is also $5. Well, that makes this beauty really worth it. And they will buy it. Like you, it's a weird phenomenon but I 100% assure you this happens. You have to have some stuff in there at the equal price that's just people aren't going to like as much um, for them to really latch on to the ones that they do like or to see more value in the one that they do like. It is it is what it is. I, I can't even, like, get again, highly analytical. I used to do this a lot. I used to go down to Hart Plaza in Detroit. I would have, um, what do they call Oh, a carabiner. And uh, I would carry a bunch of bracelets on it. And uh, I would try to sell things. things. So, yeah. We're about halfway through the video. Let me just thank my Patreon supporters for making all of this possible. The string microphones the cameras and stuff it's uh it's how this whole channel has gotten as far as it has i i think we're like over 400 videos now it's it's pretty crazy this is it, it kind of blows my mind how how much we've done and uh yeah i have great plans for this year i have so many things i want to make and so much stuff i want to do and share with you guys and uh, i'm really excited about it so Thank you guys very much. My Patreon and the YouTubes, right? Did I mentioned that? Yeah. So the YouTube members, they could actually be watching me right now recording this for you because I'm actually live streaming at the moment. So um, that's kind of a thing. Oh, 
<laughs> Somebody is actually watching. That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize. I just flipped it over and saw that. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're a little... I think there's like about seven or eight minutes left in this video. So yeah, um, there's not a whole lot of other stuff I can share with you about uh, this bracelet other than it's... It definitely, like, when I compare, because it really comes down to the two, right? So the elongated one turned out really cool, and then this one. And it really comes down to taste. The elongated one is awesome, um, no doubt about it. But that doesn't make this one any less awesome. Um now that I kind of have this one's number, I wouldn't say that it is that much more difficult. It does take me a minute to kind of make sure that I'm on the right track and I'm not making a mistake a little bit more than, than this one we just made. But it's not that big of a difference. If, if you're you know, I, I can't say that like, oh, if you thought that one was hard, do this one, it's easier. It's this one still takes as much knowing what you're doing. So there you go. I mean, yeah, uh, the easiest one was probably the Chevron one that makes the rings. That was that was the easiest tube so far, I think. But uh, still, I mean. With a little bit of practice, I think anybody who's at least a bit intermediate would be able to to pull this off. And uh, oh, and because it's doubled up, right? So the the floss here, because I do double up my floss. If we had done this single stranded, the tube would be a lot, a lot thinner. So if you're afraid, like. That just looks like way too much on the wrist. Um, you could do this in the single. Um, I imagine you would have to carry the pattern out further because the knots would be smaller. So to have it this length, you would have to add more rows. But because it's just the same thing continuing, you know, indefinitely, you could actually make it to the size that you want. So that would be... Um, that would be something that, you know, you might consider because, uh, yeah, I mean, you're definitely going to have to rotate it a lot more if it's smaller. Like that was one of the advantages of having this as thick as it is. Um, because if it is smaller, you might not be able to go all five knots without having to, to turn it a little bit. So that's, that is a thing. So, but yeah, I have, I have so many other things coming up, so many other projects I want to work on, and I'm really, really excited about it. And, um, yeah, hopefully you guys are getting excited about some of these things too. Cause I mean, I kind of want to put like more hype into it, like, you know, kind of hint at w what is coming, but I don't know when anything actually comes out. And I don't want to make it weird. So that would be, you know, yeah. So how much more is there? I can't. So this is actually sped up as fast as I could speed it up because I kind of knew that I wouldn't have an awful lot to talk about. And still, it's like, it's, it's really, really long. Hang on, hang on. Da, 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 da. Right, so I'm getting comments over here about really hard to do the smaller ones. Yes, it is absolutely harder to do the smaller tubes. Big ones don't hold their shape. They hold a shape. They hold a big, fat, thick bracelet shape. Because like, like the earlier ones, like these, like this, like it squishes down and just becomes this great big fat. It doesn't stay a tube, but yeah. Oh, but you could. Okay, let's say 
let's say hypothetically, you really wanted it to be fat and going around your wrist being all chunky. You could go down, um, I don't know, like for everybody, but like in my neighborhood where I would go is the fish supply place. Um, I could find exactly the size rubber hose uh, to fit inside here. And if I really wanted to strengthen it up, I could find a rubber hose that fits within that rubber hose and just cram it in there and trim it down to size. And I could make it so that way the thing would not squish in um, at all. So that would be if you really were into trying to keep it. But again, this size here, right? By doubling up the string and whatever, this size here would fit. Wait, do I have any pencils? I'm a huge fan of like fountain pens and stuff. I don't think I have a single pencil to my name. But this would hold a pencil really easily. I have some really big chunky highlighter pencils. I have a lot of pens. Oh my gosh. You never really notice until you go looking. Holy moly. Yeah, but this would be... If you made this um, with like a uh, the flat start, like I did for like bookmarks and stuff, you did a flat start, this would be an awesome pencil cover. Like I could just imagine like if you, if you were of school age and you show up and your pencils look that colorful and that awesome, like that would be absolutely just wow. People would lose their minds. around a refill could i do it around a refillable pen i have maybe refillable pens some of these have to be like i have fountain pens mostly refillable what do i got that's refillable let's see that's got a weird cap that one wouldn't work I imagine, okay, maybe less refillable, maybe more like the Bic pen, right? Like the, the cheapy, um, regular disposable pen. Then you could stick it in there, use it till the thing ran out. Cause those things last for ages. And then you would just kind of do the toothpaste squeezy thing to pop it out. And then, yeah. You could put in a new one. All right, guys, here's the end of it. I'm sorry. It came really quick. Um, thanks for watching. And um, as always, don't get your strings in a bunch.